What up, y'all? Back here with a new damn video. As you can see, I'm rocking my Bring It Home for Jerome 99 hat. Rest in peace to him. I just I just got this hat this week from my uh, grandfather, so shout out to him. And I thought I would just, you know, say that because this hat is damn pretty cool. So, all right, let's just get right down to it. Eagles versus Redskins. Bit, my bad in this video if the lighting's a little messed up, but... um. Let's just get right down to it. Um, this should be a good game. It should be a tough game. A divisional game on the road for us. Uh, this is a tough game for me to pick because I feel we should be more hungrier and, you know, more ready to go because we're coming off a loss. This is our divisional game. You get what I'm trying to say? And uh, there's a lot of shit, but... I don't know. I, I I really I really like our run game versus them because I think they're last in the league or second to last in the league in run uh, versus the run their defense. I've seen Isaiah Correll or whatever his name is off the Browns. The guy's been a bum for years, shitting on them. 100 yards, well, a touchdown, two touchdowns. I can't remember. I've seen guys run all over them. Okay, so I'm not scared of that. Uh, their run game, uh, run attack. So that's why I think the keys to victory. Oh, there's old Chippy. Huh. Uh, the keys to victory is to run the ball. Run it, run it, run it, run it. Okay? And then it will open up the play action. It will open up the play action. Doom! Wince, you know, he's one hell of, he does one hell of a damn job with the play actions. Play ball fakes. Boom! Over the top. You got Aguilar, Scrub, over the top. Whoever. You get what I'm trying to say? It doesn't have to be over the top. It could be a bootleg, whatever. So it opens up the game if you just run the ball, run the ball. I want Barner, Smallwood, Sproles, then Matthews running it. Matthews, yeah, he had that fumble, but overall he hasn't played that well this season. Yeah, he had a couple good runs here and there, but he hasn't put up the production. Oh, there's the birds. He hasn't put up the production that I've thought, okay? Uh, Smallwood has. I've seen him have 17 carries versus the... Um, Versus the Steelers, I have 75 yards and, and a touchdown. Barner's been playing very well for, you know, second, third string guy, getting some carries. He gets, he's getting everything he can out of his carries. Uh, Sproles, of course, is a monster, but I just want you to run the hell out of the rock. Once you run, run, because they're the worst run defense, run the rock, run the rock, run the rock, run the rock. And also, I want you to run the rock because Lane Johnson's out now. Lane Johnson's out for this game and out for the next 10 games. And if you want to survive because you got a rookie and, you know, things are going to look sideways, I don't know how big V is going to play our new right tackle. But I would run the ball all day long on the left side. Boom. On Jason Peters' side all day long. Boom. 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 Hit the left side. Hit the left side. Hit the left side. You know, put in two tight end sets, three tight ends. Run that shit. You know what I mean? And um, we're going to miss Lane Johnson. Don't get me wrong. We're going to miss Lane Johnson. But I don't think it's going to be such a big loss like uh, my one friend was saying that the whole uh, Eagles' whole season could be down the shitter now. I don't know how our whole season could be down the shitter over a tackle. Yeah, it's bad, but he don't play defense. He don't play quarterback, and he don't play, you know what I'm saying, he don't play other positions. Yeah, he, he protects our quarterback, but if we can get the ball out quickly and do what we've been doing, short short passing game and running the ball, you can get by with literally two or three missing uh, offensive linemen. Now, if you're throwing deep every day and you have a vertical offense like the Cardinals, then, yeah, it's going to be tough for you to get by. Um, but this, this right here is a big test for this offensive line in terms of having the new guy and big test for Big V, the new offensive lineman, because in my personal opinion, if he can prove, okay, that he's really worth it, not this Sunday, but for the next 10 games, that he's really worth it, that he could be our one of our future uh, guards or tackles or whatever, then next year, Peters could be let go. Uh, he could be stay, stay on the right side, and Lane Johnson's our, our new left tackle. Left tackle is the most important. That's the blind side to our quarterback because he's right-handed. That's, that's the guy, that's the person he has his back turned to. He can't see the rush unless he feels it. So you get what I mean. At least you still got Peters at left tackle. But I just want to see what he's got. But run the hell out the ball and keys to victory. Run the ball, then it opens up play actions, bootlegs, this, that, that. Uh, use Sp Smallwood more. Use Barner, as I said. But I want to get down to some more things. And the reason why our defense looks flat in, in the first uh, half against the Lions and what we need to do in this game because as you know Kirk Cousins likes to throw deep he doesn't have the best arm in the league he has kind of a noodle arm but he can throw the ball deep he can get the ball out and they always throw deep in this offense because well, you got the Sean Jackson but I want them safeties to be over top you understand what I'm saying but you got D-Jax um, you know 
A lot of talk of him coming back to Philly, whatever. We'll talk about that later on if it even transpires. But you got him going deep. You also got Jordan Reed. Well, I don't think Jordan Reed's even playing. But you got a lot of weapons. Pierre Garçon, you guys know it firsthand. They like to go deep. And just like Schwartz said today, they, don't, they like going deep. And not 40-yard passes. We're talking 60-yard bombs. So, you know what I mean? But this is right here is what I saw. And this could be a big reason um, why our shit's, like, messed up, okay? Now, this is crazy, right? We have 12 sacks and I think seven turnovers on, on defense, right? The second most sacks in the NFL, because the first goes to the Vikings, I think they have 16, 17 sacks. We have the second most sacks in the league, okay? Um, and reading this right here, we're the second lowest blitzing team in the NFL at 14%. The second lowest blitzing team. But our, our D-line's still getting through. I want you to think about that. It proves how talented our D-line is. You're not blitzing. You're the second lowest in the league at blitzing. You're not bringing pressure and you're still getting through offensive lines. You got one hell of a damn defensive line. Possibly maybe the best in the league right next to the Minnesota Vikings, okay? Think about that. Think about that. You could be an Eagles fan or not, just think about that, that blow your freaking mind. Second lowest in the league at blitzing, 14%, we're still getting through. Imagine when we start bringing heat. And that was our problem. That's a big reason why we lost the game uh, with the Lions, because Matt Stafford, we underestimated his athleticism. We, under, we underestimated his ability to move around. So, for example, Big Ben can move around, but he slides this way, that way, you know, and that's why we caved in and collapsed him. We didn't blitz much in the Lions game in the first half. I think we only blitzed four times that whole game. Uh, so what happened was is that we underestimated his ability to scramble or move. And because the first two weeks we versus quarterbacks who couldn't really move. Cutler could move a little bit. RG3 didn't want to move, okay, uh, because he ain't the same quarterback. And Big Ben, as I told you, he slides. Matthew Stafford, on the other hand, okay, he – was moving this way, that way. He was avoiding it because we didn't, you know what I'm saying? They, they attacked a weakness in our defense, okay? But second lowest in the league, 14% blitzing, you know, and Schwartz is supposed to be a guy who loves pressure, 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 pressure. You know what? Start bringing the damn pressure. Start bringing the damn heat. And this is the week to do it. I want pressure out the ass. We must blitz, okay? We can't be giving Cousins all day long because he will shred us. Can't give him all day long. And, you know, I know our D-line's good. You know, but going to the season, everyone said, well, we're going to play the wide nine. We're going to do this and that. And everyone had us thinking, wow, man, we're going to be bringing heat, bringing pressure. We're getting there, but we're not even blitzing. So I want more blitzing. I want you to get the Cousins, scramble. I want you to crush them all day long. That's how we win the game. We have one of the most talented D-lines. We're getting through, but we're not blitzing. Imagine when we start blitzing. Start blitzing, okay? Period. Um, I want, yeah, like I said, you small one and Barner. And... I'm to the point now, I'm going to keep it real with you. Sit Kendricks. Sit Michael Kendricks. Keep Nigel Bradham in the game. Keep Jordan Hicks in the game. I don't want to see Kendricks anymore. I've always said he was an overrated bum. All he has is speed. He can get through blitzing here and there, but he's a horrible at coverage. Gets burnt by tight ends all day the hell long. You can have a backup tight end, he'll still get burnt. So teams weren't, ain't scared of him in coverage at all. No teams are scared of him in coverage. And that's the problem. I don't care if Brad, what Bradham did, okay? I know it was messed up having a load of gun, this and that, but put his ass on the fucking field. You put him on the field last week for, I think, one or two plays in the second half, automatically Stafford fumbles, he picks it up. So the kid, can, the guy can ball. He's the second best, uh, I think, outside linebacker rated by Pro Football Focus or whatever. So keep him in the game. Sit Kendricks. End of the season, I hope he gets traded. I'm being real. The guy is just not good. All right, so don't f f that up because every time he gets, every time he checks in the game at bat at linebacker. Uh, the, the people are passing on him, so whatever. But the corners, strap your damn boots up. Keep the safeties up top. Look out for Deshaun because you know he's always going to make big plays. But that's the keys to victory. Run the hell out the fucking ball. Run it down their freaking throat. Every team's running on him, even if they have bad old lines or not. They're running it down, okay? So there's no excuse not to have a run game this week. So it opens up play action boot, like I said. And get pressure. We lost that game, in my opinion, because at first half and a little bit in the second, we didn't pressure him. But that's just me, though. Like this video, subscribe, and comment below. It's going to be a tough game, real tough game. But I have confidence Eagles can win this game. We're coming off a loss, okay? We're coming off a loss, and we should come back pissed off, angry, mad, you know what, ready to attack, ready to kill, and this is a divisional game. Only thing I fear 
it's all it's on the road but this is a must win must win in my opinion because I'm looking at the schedule we got Minnesota next that's that, that that's probably a loss okay the only advantage we have it's at home and Carson Wentz has been playing well defense can definitely get after Sam Bradford because they have a bad O-line I ain't trying to overlook everything but if we lose this game and lose Viking we're three and three we start off with three and oh we'll be three and three and then you look at the next couple games we can be five and five through the next seven game stretch or whatever okay I'm just making some stuff up but you give it my point. This is a must win to stay in this division. We can't let the Redskins get up because we'll, we'll, we'll be 3-2 they will be 4-2. and two. We can't let that happen. Alright, go Birds. And I'll see you guys uh, in my, my review, I guess. Hopefully we win this game. Alright, y'all. Peace.